right, welcome. We we'll wait a few more minutes or maybe just another minute until a few other people show up. This is going to be recorded um, so that I will send it out to everyone that was registered for, um, for this webinar. But um, my name is Ann Fawcett and I am the Director of Admission here at Morehill Mount Academy. So hopefully I've talked to most of you guys on the phone or through email. I wish we could have done this on campus, but with COVID, we still can't. So I'm glad that you guys could join us. Um, so tonight we're gonna go over um, the financial aid and scholarships that are available for our day students and day families. And um, just a little, if you guys have any questions, there is a Q&A down at the bottom. Feel free at any time to type in a question and, um, and at the end, I will try and answer as best as I can. Um, you're always welcome to give our office a call uh, during the day, during the week, or you can email me at any time and I can also answer any questions for you guys. So with that, I will get started on, um, I'm gonna share my screen so that everyone can see. And we'll present. So sure. All right. So oops, let me go back. <laughs> okay. So today we're going to talk about the um, just so the, again the financial aid scholarship opportunities for day students. Um, so we do have a financial aid application that is an umbrella for a lot of our need based scholarships. So we make it pretty simple with only one application for the family for that. And then we do have two additional scholarships that are available that have a separate application and have its own requirements as well. Um, and then I'll talk about kind of the requirements for the students um, once they're enrolled here and then other tuition assistance and then we'll go to the questions at the end. So for financial aid applications, it is um, predominantly need-based. We try to meet the need of every family if we can. Um, we do have a scholarship committee that meets in the spring and um, we review all of the applications and documents and we do try as best as we can. We are fortunate to have an endowment at Morehill Mount Academy. Um, and so I think our families are really lucky there. Um, so the application, again, like I said, applies to all need-based scholarships. And the additional documents that we require are all tax documents. So your most recent um, federal tax return, your 1040, and then also all of the W-2s of, um, of the household for the parents and legal guardians. Um, we just need copies of all of this that can be emailed to us or dropped off or mailed. Um, everything is due March 30th. So that's the date to keep in mind for all applications. For all of our financial aid, it is awarded on a one-year basis. Um, so we do ask all families to reapply each year and, um, and in, to fill out basically the same application and resubmit all of the new um, tax documents. I do wanna show you guys where you can find all of this information because it is available on our website. So if you do go to the main page, our main homepage, and under admission, you'll click on day students. And as you can see, um, it opens up the application process and over here you'll select tuition and financial aid. We do have listed this year's tuition and fees. Um, we do have a board meeting this Friday and we will be uh, making the decision on tuition for next year. And as soon as I have that confirmed, I will update this as soon as possible for everyone. And then at the bottom, you can see, this is where we list the scholarships and financial aid applications. Um, it is a PDF and it, it will give you instructions and everything that we need for you to fill out. I do wanna point out one thing at the very end that is really important to us is the total dollar amount financially requested for this coming year. This is required, so please do not forget to fill that amount out, or we will be calling you and asking for you to do that. Um, but again, everything is at the bottom of that page. 
all due March 30th, and you can email to us or drop off as well. So then a couple of the scholarships that are additional that we have. Um, back in 2000, Mr. and Mrs. Haverty started a Haverty Family Scholarship Fund um, for, first it was for Moorhill Prep, and then when we joined with St. Scholastica, it became for Moorhill Mount Academy students. And this is really to help a lot of the families that are in um, very much need of a higher assistance. And so we do have uh, full tuition scholarships for four incoming freshmen, day students from the Atchison area. Um, the requirements on this is that the family household income must be $65,000 or less. This is the one scholarship that you actually do not need to reapply for each year. Um, so once you submit that, your student will receive that for up to four years. So of basically your high school education. Again, it's due March 30th. Um, in addition to, some, um, it does have its own application and I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but we do require the financial aid application, including all of the tax documents, the Haverty scholarship application, and then also three personal recommendation letters from individuals who know your son or daughter. Um, these are separate letters of recommendation that from the admission process. So your child uh, should be submitting to us two teacher recommendations and a principal recommendation for admission. These recommendations, these personal ones are different. Um, you know, we want someone that really knows your kid and, um, you know, how they've been involved in the community and what kind of character they have. This is more of a character reference. You know, we've, we've had letters come from a parish priest and pastor, we've had a family friend, we've had alumni submit on behalf, coaches, uh, ministry leaders, community leaders. What we, what we prefer you not have is a family relative submit a recommendation. So this is something that, um, you know, I hope that you, you know, talk with your child about and that they're the ones asking for those letters of recommendation because we do really read through those um, to get to know the student better and the family better. And then I'll show you guys the Haverty Scholarship application. It is just a one page. So again, it's on the same page. And it does have, it starts with the guidelines and application information, just so you guys have it all. And then it is just simply knowing what your child is involved in, extracurriculars, projects, community service, things that they've done that we can submit to the scholarship committee. And then the next one is our Alumni Association Scholarship. So um, we do have an Alumni Association uh, that is involved in a lot of different things, but this is one thing that they started in 2010 is to have additional scholarship awards available to, to, any, to any incoming new student. So it actually can apply to any grade levels just as long as you are a new student. Um, they usually select anywhere from two to four applicants and each student receives $1,000. This is a one-time scholarship award. Um, it's just for one year of study. And um, then they review the application and then also the additional documents. So I'll show you the application a little bit. Um, but what they wanna see is um, a personal recommendation from an alum who graduated from either Mount St. Scholastic Academy, Moorhill Prep, or Moorhill Mount Academy. So um, I get, this can be, you know, obviously someone that might be in your family because a lot of generations here have our legacy. Um, we only require a minimum of one. We ask that you not submit more than three though. Um, and then the student, so the student already has written an essay for the admission side for Moorhill Mount Academy. And so now we're asking the student to write an additional essay um, sharing why would you be a good candidate for this scholarship and what does it mean to be an alum at Moorhill Mount Academy? So, um, so the student is required to submit just an additional one page uh, um, essay. Then I'll show you guys again, the Alumni Association Scholarship Application. 
it's very, it's um, mostly just basically asking for a little bit of, and more information on the students. So just guidelines and the application are laid out and then just listing extracurricular activities, community service projects and organizations and things that the students involved in. And again, all of this, what's really nice is available on the website. And then we're here to answer any questions um, that you guys may have. So we never ever really want to take away a scholarship from a student, um, you know, especially being a high school student, we really want them to become the best that they can here. We do though have some requirements that we just ask really that we really want, um, you know, the student and the parents to kind of keep track of too. We want the students to maintain at least a C average, which is basically a requirement anyways for, to participate in a lot of the extracurricular activities here at the school. Um, it's a 2.0 GPA for a C average, you know, so we do want students to really try hard in school. That said, I, we would love, we want you to be active participants in the classroom. Um, you know, we're not asking you to answer every single question in class, but, you know, be a little bit more active, you know, courteous to the teachers, um, turning things in on time, not causing any trouble. And then participate in extracurricular activities. This can be anything and everything that we offer here. Um, it can be a sport, it could be the theater department, it could be scholars bowl. There's no minimum or maximum, but we want the student to be active. Um, it could even be in a leadership role if they end up being a family or house leader. Um, but we really want the student to you know, embrace our mission and strive for ex excellence in those areas. And then also just embrace the entire mission of the school, live the faith, pursue the truth and strive for excellence. We do ask every fall that students write a formal letter of appreciation to the sponsor or sponsors if they're receiving more than one scholarship during the school year. So we usually ask the students this after fall break in October and so that that way if for a new student they have had some experience they've usually been they've been here for about two months usually they've had homecoming they can talk about what they you know why they're here what they love about the school um, because most of these sponsors are alumni themselves and so they really like to hear from the student that they're having a great time and that they made a difference in their life and um and we do ask us of the students we don't require it of the parents but we do have parents that are more than welcome to submit a, um, a thank you letter as well, and we'll mail it on your behalf. So I do always encourage families to include your student on the conversation of scholarship and financial aid as best as you can, because they will be asked to write a thank you letter. And I think it's nice for them to understand really, you know, what they're doing and to be, and to be thankful. So additional tuition assistance, um, I just want to mention this in case some people are not aware. If the parent, if one of the parents or legal guardians is actually employed by Morehill Mount Academy, St. Benedict's Catholic School, or Benedictine College directly, um, then you actually may qualify for additional tuition assistance um, from that employer or it's a discount through the school. So I suggest if you don't know, you could you can, excuse me, you can contact your human resource director um, or department, or you can, uh, you can just call us as well, and we can let you guys know what that tuition assistance looks like. Um, there is no additional application required for this. Um, we just confirm the employment with, um, with the three institutions at the beginning of each semester. So it is, um, if things change throughout the year, then things are adjusted, but we just confirm that with the employer. So I know I ran through that fairly quickly, um, but I just hope, wonder if there's any questions that have been submitted. No questions so far. Um, so it is very, so it is pretty straightforward how the financial aid and scholarships are worked and, um, and the application, we try to make it as simple as possible, but if you ever do have 
any questions about the about the process, um, then you can always you can call our office. You can talk to myself, um, and then uh, we do uh, we do try to help the families as best as we can. So with the all of the applications being due March thirtieth, we do try to meet as a scholarship committee in April, and we um, we want all of our families who have applied for financial aid, especially our day families, to find out May 1st if you've been awarded a scholarship or financial aid package. But with that, since there are no questions, I'd like to say thank you so much. I hope this was informative. And um, again, I will be sending a recording of this with the slides so that if you um, need to look back or listen to anything that you might have missed, you're more than welcome to. Um, as always, we're here and um, I hope that you've finished your admission process. And if your child's coming this Saturday, we did send out a reminder on the test and what is needed for that. So thank you so much and have a great night. Bye.